Ladies and gentlemen, my name's Paul, and in this Regimen Zeta Comp video, we're going to be taking a look at AMD's Crimson Relive Driver. Far from just a name change, Relive isn't just a subtle tweak in performance from the older 16.11 driver. Instead, it brings Relive, AMD's counter to NVIDIA's Shadow Play game capture software, advanced custom resolution options, Radeon Chill, which improves cooling and frame pacing, as well as a lot more besides. This is also an article, which you can go ahead and check out in the video description. AMD Crimson drivers took a nice step forward from the GUI of the older Radeon driver suite, and Relive doesn't do anything to really shake up this aesthetic or control too much. If you have used an older Crimson driver, this look will feel very familiar to you. But, Relive adds so much more. So while Watman for overclocking, and custom game settings will look very familiar, as well as of course the various display and eye affinity setup options, there is a lot more which lies beneath. While it was great that AMD added virtual super resolution, which allows official downsampling, for example running a 4K um, image through a 1080p display, this happens much like Nvidia's own drivers, Custom display resolutions were also a long requested feature. And now, finally, for users who will make use of this technology, it should be a very powerful tool in getting the most out of your display. Adjust timings, whether horizontal, vertical, the refresh rate, whether it's interlaced or progressive, and a whole lot more besides. You're gonna be able to tweak your display to be able to pretty much perform however you would like. Assuming, obviously, it can support such settings. Relive is strictly a counter to NVIDIA's Shadow Play, and the two feature virtually identical technology in how they work. Relive offloads encoding duty from the system's CPU to the dedicated video processing units on the Radeon graphics card. <coughs> And it does so by taking the rendered frames of animation of the game and then running them through the units and then storing that or streaming that to either a Twitch stream or if you want to uh, put it straight onto your system's hard drive. The results are very impressive from our testing with very little impact on in-game performance. That is assuming the rest of your system, particularly storage, can keep up if you're recording at higher bitrate settings with higher resolution. You simply choose the resolution, frame rate and quality settings you wish to record or stream in, and away you go. You can then adjust things on the fly in game, for example, stopping or starting recording any time, take screenshots, and also enable desktop mode if you're having issues recording a certain title. We ran our benchmark rig with the older 16.11 drivers facing off directly against Crimson Relive. Throughout our tests, we wanted exact benchmark runs, hence we decided to stick to games with built-in benchmarks so we can get exact differences in performance without human error. The results do show that Live Relive excuse me, is slightly ahead in performance over the .11 driver, but more impressive is that the recording during this has very marginal impact in performance, just like NVIDIA's Shadow Play. This means that AMD finally have an excellent counter for NVIDIA when it comes to live streamers and people who just want to record their gameplay. It's also worth noting that these .11 drivers have also seen major improvements since the RX 480 and other Polaris GPUs were first released. Indeed, AMD boasts that Polaris performance has gone up about 8% or so since the GPUs were first put on store shelves. Overall, throughout our testing, DirectX 11 and DirectX 12 titles have both improved in performance in either GPU or CPU bound scenarios, which is absolutely fantastic. Sure, 
The differences here are typically no more than a few frames per second, but it is a free performance, and combine this with ReLive, as well as the other features that we've discussed, it is very, very, very impressive. So, what's the conclusion? Well, AMD have obviously done extremely well here. There's very few who can argue that their drivers have not come on leaps and bounds over the past one to two years. Nvidia always used to have the driver edge, but now the two companies are very interchangeable when it comes to their drivers, stability, and most of their feature set. Nvidia do still have a few exclusives, such as both Hardware Physics and Ansel. It is a shame, however, that Hardware Physics in many ways is exclusive because it means it's not leveraged as much as it could be and it is such a cool technology. I suspect, however, that AMD are focused not on additional toys but instead on getting their ducks in a row. They're worried about the average gamer, the hardcore gamer or even the casual gamer and what features they will use most often. The ReLive application, for example, represents a huge counter to NVIDIA, but the custom resolutions and other functionality means that AMD are readying themselves for the release of Vega. We need to test out Radeon Chill a little more, so I don't want to give too much on our conclusions with that, but so far the results do seem promising and the GPU is running a couple of degrees to cooler. But frankly, we need to do more testing to see if it matches up to AMD's rather boastful claims. For this, we'll need to run longer tests and also throw in overclocking into the mix, so this is something we'll have to tackle into the future then. Until then, ReLive is an excellent move by AMD. Ultimately, value for money and best performance will tempt you with your graphics card choice, and I'd always suggest, regardless of the company, for you to buy the best card for your money, whether it's AMD or Nvidia or whether it's Bob's new GPU vendor. But AMD do know that Shadow Play was certainly a big draw for NVIDIA. Custom resolutions, more robust overclocking and cooling, and ReLive are distinctly an appeal to the hardcore and average game enthusiast. So I say, roll on 2017 and Vega vs NVIDIA's latest and greatest. Until then, I would suggest that we enjoy the additional performance, give AMD feedback, tell them what we like and we don't like, and do the same for NVIDIA as well, because ultimately we want the best products we can get. So, as usual, like and subscribe to the channel for more videos, leave a comment on your thoughts of ReLive, and roll on with us into the new year, where we can of course be testing Zen, or I should say Ryzen, and naturally test out Vega and whatever else comes our way. With all of that said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all soon. As I said, this is also an article if you want to head, go ahead excuse me, and check it out. It's linked once again in the video description. Take care of yourselves, guys. Bye for now.